today we're going to be assembling the chainsaw, wolf chainsaw. Okay. Firstly, what comes in the box? You've got your chainsaw. You've got your guide bar. You've got your chain. You've got your jaws. You've got your book. Guard. Mixing bottle, which is 25 to 1. That's 40 ml of oil to one liter of petrol. You've got a tool kit. Inside your tool kit is a universal spanner to remove the spark plug, to tighten up the chain, and to tighten up the guide bar. A universal screwdriver, which is Phillips and flat. You've got a file. The file is to sharpen and to keep the chain clean. Little screwdriver, an Allen key, smaller Allen key, and two screws. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put on the jaw. This jaw helps you or assists you um, when you are cutting on a branch. You're going to have to you push that into the into the limb of the tree and you push in a downward motion so it assists you in in cutting the branch uh, remember you're cutting when you're doing with the chainsaw when you're cutting with it you're not going to just cut at the tip of the of the guide bar you're going to have to try and cut a lot closer to the back that's where the the jaws come in play and they help you to grip on the chainsaw so once that's put in place, we're going to remove the nut. There's a little Allen key screw on the side. Remove the Allen key screw. We're going to be putting all of that back in. So just remember where you're taking it out of. Once that's out, your brake is out. On the brake, that's disengaged. That's engaged. Now, in this motion, your chain is not going to move when you rub it up once the machine has started. So if you have a look at the back, there's a little spring there. So if I push that back, that spring opens up. If I push it forward, that spring closes. Now, the spring itself closes and pushes up against the clutch drum, and that's what stops the chain from moving. Okay, so we're gonna go on, on the front, of your chain bar you can see there's a little symbol on the front end of it that tells you in which direction the chain needs to go there's a cutting side on the chain which is absolutely sharp so just be careful uh, that's the side that is a little bit slanted and you can feel that it is sharp please do not push your finger onto it you will get cut once you establish which is the cutting side of the chain what we can do is go on to assemble it on the guide bar I'm sorry, not on the guide bar, but on the actual clutch. Remember, the cutting side of the chain needs to face away from you. Put that behind the clutch drum. Then you take your guide bar, put your guide bar in. And remember, you're putting it over the big thread bolt. And there is a place for it on the inside where there's two screws on the inside that will keep it straight or keep it in the direction that you need it to be we're now going to put the chain on start from one side put the chain into the into the slot provided on the guide bar this is a little bit it's not the easiest thing to do especially when when you're not uh, when you're using the chainsaw for the first time so if you struggle a little bit, that's fine. Just be careful, do not get cut. And just don't rush. Once you rush, then you are gonna get cut, you get frustrated. Okay, so we're just gonna take our time. That's slotted in. Once it's slotted in, just pull it forward a little bit. Pull it forward and just make sure that it is in place. We don't have to be 100% for now. We are going to make sure that it is 100% once we tighten up the guide bar. 
Okay, so that's in place. There we go. Right. Now, at the back, you got off your break, you got two little clips. Those clips push in just behind the muffler. Just behind the muffler, so we just push it behind the muffler. Make sure that your brake is disengaged, like so. Okay? Just push it just behind the muffler. Find the slot where the hole goes. And make sure that the dowel lines up. That's the dowel that will line up on the, on the guide bar. If you have a look there, there's a little hole at the bottom. That's where the dowel needs to go. Now the guide bar can be put on either way with the wolf sign facing upside down. Uh, but just as, as a reference, it's just easier to do it with the wolf sign facing the right direction. Once you've got that in place, put your nut back in. Don't over tighten it for now, just tighten it so that you can get everything lined up and make sure that everything is lined up. We don't want anything coming out later. We're gonna make sure that the flat screwdriver, we're now gonna locate that hole. We're just gonna loosen it a little bit. And it is not almost there. <laughs> As you can see, the chain is sagging, but that's fine because once you got it in place, So, there you go, that's in place. Remember we line the dowel up with the, with the guide bar and we're just gonna tighten that up a little bit for now. And we just make sure that the nut is in place. When tightening it, don't over tighten it. It's very easy to over tighten it. You just want to make sure that you can pull the chain up. It must be able to pull up, but not to a point where it's sagging. Once you got it in its right position, then you can tighten the nut up that will hold the guide bar and the clutch or the brake in place. Don't forget to put the Allen key screw back in. So, once that's done, you are now ready to add your petrol mix and start the machine. Brake on, brake off. 